What if I told you that there is a guide you can use to know exactly how to mix your music? It'll tell you how loud your vocals should be, how bright your vocals should be, it'll give you new ideas and techniques to try, and it won't cost you anything. Or well, most of us already have it, so there's no additional costs. It's gonna sound funny when I say this, but I'm talking about music. Commercially released music. See, listening to music is the best way to know how our productions and mixes are stacking up. But I feel like a lot of us are afraid to use reference tracks, especially if the artist is in the room with us, but we shouldn't be. We all reference commercial music, whether we disguise it as casually listening to music on our commute or sitting in the studio where it actually matters. We listen to music, we hear sounds we like, and we try to remember those sounds when we go back into the studio. But for some reason, there's this hesitation to reach for a reference track when we're actually working on a song. And I think it's fear. Fear that our music sounds good right now, in this bubble, on these speakers, or in these headphones, and that if I play a reference track, it's gonna sound different, and it's gonna make my music sound not so great anymore. But you know what, that's good. We want our music to sound good everywhere, and we want it to hold up to commercially released music so that when people hear it, they hear the song and not the mix. Because only other producers and mixing engineers will hear the production and the mix. Your everyday music listener is only gonna hear the song. But if the mix doesn't fit in as the next single in whatever playlist they're listening to, or just generally sounds off, they might not know why, but they are going to notice. And this is not to say never go hop on YouTube for a mixing tutorial. Most of my channel is exactly that, like and subscribe. But tutorials are gonna show you techniques, and often pretty isolated. You'll learn techniques to mix vocals, use compression, add EQ, but what are we listening for? How do we then balance these vocals in the mix? There's no better roadmap to answer those questions than reference tracks. So give it a shot. Next time you're producing a track, find a song to use as inspiration. Reference and do it often. Do it at the beginning of the mix to calibrate your ears as you dig in. Check in along the way, keep yourself on track. And at the end, you'll have a mix that's still yours and you can still put your own spin on it, but those will be creative, intentional decisions that you made. So thanks for watching, I hope you found this helpful, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and like and subscribe.